The idea for the festival came from a lot of different sources. Um, as a musician, um, people have been talking about the possibility of holding an event in Dover Town and making it large, making it ambitious, having good stages and, and having a party for the whole town. Um, and I'm a local lad, I'm born and bred in Dover. And it was important to me personally that we could do this and foster that sense of community in the town. But as musicians, the likes of Mick Morris, myself, um, there was a, and Nick Charlesworth, who was a great facilitator, we, as musicians we decided we needed to expand that committee to have people who could really get things done. So we enlisted onto the committee people like Roger Knight, Roger Marston, great Rotarians. Um, what we managed to do, we think, was not just to have an idea, but to make it happen. And that idea is only realised when people get off their couch, come to the park and have a great party. And that did happen. So, you know, really all we did was facilitate and channel that energy, that community spirit, which Dover still has in space. I think what we achieved um, was something very special. Um, I think in Dover, what we've seen over the years are many extraordinary events um, and we had uh, a number of years we had um, a festival or dock rock type thing running in the docks which was very successful but this was something different this was an event that we were trying to embrace um, the whole of Dover the community the business um, and involve different areas of Dover so we, we had parts of Dover rocking all over the place you know we had uh, the Crabble Corn we were working up there on, on folk. We had Penchester Gardens, the Market Square, and pubs generally around the town were involved. So if you if you want to measure success by the involvement and the engagement in the community and, and the feeling you get from that event, then it was a tremendous success. to me um, because of the the changes that we've made in the dynamic of the actual event itself what I'm really looking for is um, total engagement from the community what I'd like to see is lots of people from our Dover uh, community and the Dover district area really embracing the the festival and turning out in numbers but I also like to think that because of what we're doing it will put Dover on the map in terms of the music festival. Last year was a great success. Um, and we did get numbers of people traveling from other areas. What we'd like to see this year is more people coming into Dover from outside the area. I would like to see that um, it grows and the engagement of local business grows with it. Um, that we have a whole lot of success in terms of the traders and the actual things that are going on around the area as well. So, so the event is it's not just a music music event and successful music event, which I'm sure it will be, but something that actually brings other things to the community. <clears throat> anyway, this next song is a is a song that I wrote uh, called "The Girl I Love Don't Like PDAs," which is public displays of affection, not to be mistaken with PDFs for you IT geeks out there. There's a song like this, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I thought it went very, very well. Um, 
I was very, very pleased. I mean, the crowd seems to be, you know, even though it's, the, weather's, uh, the weather's a bit bad now, but I mean, the crowd are there and, and they seem to be enjoying it. Yeah, it's brilliant. I really enjoyed it. It's getting all those faces in front of that stage, watching them jump up and down, watching them um, clapping their hands and, and being happy because that is like a virus, it spreads. That optimism that we felt in the park in 2014 really did spread and it's, it's, um, it's a feeling that lasts, it still lasts. The reason the committee is still doing it today is because it still lasts, that ambition and that sense of success is what drives us forward. And I think it's an altruistic feeling. We want the town to be successful. We want the town to utilise its public spaces in an effective way. And this is one way we felt we could contribute to this. But ultimately, all we really do is put the scaffold up. It's when the people come. That's when the building gets built. That's when you see uh, the, the fruits of all the labour, is when people come in, they sit down or they jump up and down and they're dancing and they're, they're enjoying themselves and they talk about it. And it gives us something positive to talk about. Instead of the usual nonsense you see running around on Facebook and all the negativity, this is an antidote to all of those things. All right, we're here at the festival. We've got Showers Jallo, all the way from London. Yes. Big <laughs> London, who's come down to Grace Art Festival. Showers, tell us something about yourself. Hello, hi, I'm Dova people. My name is Showers Jallo, as you've heard from the lovely Elaine. Um, I'm a musician, singer, songwriter. I will be performing for you guys today. So it's going to be great, it's going to be epic. What, what um, are we going to expect, man? What are, you going to, what are you going to be doing for us? I am going to be performing most of the songs I wrote, and it's going to be energetic, it's going to be epic, it's going to be explosive. Thank it's you very much. You guys are beautiful. Clap for yourselves, clap for yourselves. Come on, come on, come on. Drop it, it's you. Let's do this. It doesn't matter where you're from, you are my brother. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you are, you are my friend. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you're from, you are my sister. Having stood on the stage with you and looking out at the crowd, I know how successful it was. Incredible. Three and a half, possibly thousand people there, having a wonderful time. That was it, wasn't it? Them. That was it. That was the. Uh, you know, <clears throat> If you kind of take a snapshot of the euphoria, it was that just the one. It was that shot. I mean, for me, when I was on stage, and the first thing I did when I got up there was say, "Right, let's have a selfie." Right, and I, I and people were physically huddling together, <laughs> and I thought that was great. Yeah. They they really were participating, yeah. and they were. They, do you know what they were? They were joyous. They were mm. very. They wanted it to succeed. All the people in that part wanted it to be succeed, mm. and and that vibe was just you. You, know, you can't bottle it, can you? No, I think it really started um, on the day, early in the day, when we was actually putting the stages together yeah, and putting it all stages. together. Looking at Penchester as it is today, yeah. um, which is a beautiful place anyway with the castle on the hill. But when we started putting the staging in and the various bits of equipment going in, the fencing up, the banners up and all that sort of stuff, turning, turning a part of Dover into what was going to be a fantastic music event was just Incredible. And what a backdrop that was when we had, I mean, Nick Charlesworth supplied those stages, you know, mm -hmm. and kudos to Nick, he did a lot for that festival. Yeah. You see those stages and you see the backdrop of that castle, mm -hmm. and then, then you add to that vista the sea of heads looking forwards at it. Yeah. I, you, you, I no, mean, it's it was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. And this, this time around, bigger stage, big stage. it's going to be, uh, going to be incredible and uh, a lot more enclosed, yeah. so going to be a lot of people there. Yeah.